Welcome to Adobe Illustrator CC 2021 class. We're in a book chapter 10, organizing your artwork with layers. This is part two. So when we left off, we had just finished going ahead and locking up some layers. So now we're going to go ahead and duplicate some of that layer content. Let's go ahead and turn our image on so we can actually see what's going on there. Let's go ahead and go to our phone content layer and let's go ahead and Click the group that we named description. So we've got this group that we named description. Then we're going to go ahead and press option or alt and drag it down so we make a copy of it. So let's grab this, let's grab alt and grab a, let's go ahead and take it down. Alt and drag it down so it's just right below. So now we've got two copies of description. So let's grab our original group name description and grab that. We can go ahead and grab our selection tool to select it. On, let's go ahead and option or control click on that one. It'll go ahead and select that for us on the artboard. Let's go ahead and grab our selection tool and go ahead and drag it. Oh, come on. Let's grab our control and click and drag it over. Undo. Somehow I didn't get the whole thing. All right, so I've got my whole thing. And let's go ahead with our target. And the group original name to select all the text. So control and click. So we've got all of it. Let's go ahead and drag it. There we go. Now we've got all of it. So now if you were to do something like convert it to outlines, you still have a way to go back to your original text and uh, make a copy. So you do have some design options later on. So let's go ahead and go to our navigation layer. Let's go ahead and shrink all these down so we don't have to see everything. Let's go to our navigation layer, which is still locked. And we're going to go ahead and create a copy of that navigation. So let's go ahead and drag it. So if we grab navigation and drag it down to the new layer and let go, it's going to make a navigation copy. So now we can click on that lock icon to the left of the one in the copy to unlock it. And now we want to go ahead and select that copied content so we can move it off the artboard. So let's go ahead and grab the selection tool. Make sure you've got the circle to select all the content. And on the artboard, let's go ahead and drag it over to the right. So we've got a, the copy over here to the right. So now let's go ahead and play with pasting a few layers. Let's go ahead and do a file open. Let's deselect everything. Let's do a file and open. Let's go ahead and grab the one called sizes and say open. And let's go ahead now and do a select all. Let's do an edit and copy to select all the content on that board. Let's go ahead and close that one down, come back into our original. And before we paste it, let's go ahead and go to our hamburger menu on our layers panel. And let's do paste remembers layers. So when we look in there now, paste should have a check mark next to it. And let's do an edit and paste. So what that's going to do is bring in all that information as a single layer. So now we want to go ahead and move that into our phone content layer. So let's go ahead and grab it. Of sizes put it into that phone content layer. So now it is a sub layer within our phone content. Now let's go ahead and deselect. We'll go ahead and move those. Oh, let's go ahead and undo. Control Z. Let's go ahead and move that right now while we're thinking about it. Oh, let's grab sizes. Oh, it didn't grab that back in phone content. I want to grab sizes and make sure that's my active layer. Okay. I'm just going to have a devil of a time with this one, aren't I? And let's go ahead. I'm just going to grab my arrow tools. 
Come on. Undo. Sizes. Make sure about the whole thing. Having a tough time. I'm going to go ahead and hide that image. See if that makes it a little bit easier. And hide this phone body stuff too. Let's go ahead and grab sizes. I just can't grab this today, can I? All right, sizes is selected. Aha, grab them all, bring them down over in here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn my image back on. Did I turn anything off? off? No, nope, it's all back on. All right, so now I've got that down where I want it to be. So control S for that one. So let's go ahead and apply some appearance attributes to a layer. So let's go ahead to our navigation copy. And let's go ahead and make that our target layer. You kind of see it becomes a double. So that effect is going to affect everything on that layer altogether. So instead of having to apply them one at a time, we'll go ahead and do it all at once. So let's go to Who Effect. Let's come down to Illustrator Effects and Stylize and grab that Drop Shadow. Within Drop Shadow, let's take that Opacity to 50%. Let's grab that X Offset to 5 or to 0. I'm going to do a tab. I'm going to do Y to 10. A tab Blur to 3. And I'm going to leave my color and say OK. You're going to say, what did I just do? So if you actually hide the rectangle, you can kind of see how you've added that drop shadow. But with the rectangle on, you can't see it as well. All right, let's go ahead and deselect all and do a Control S and save what we've got so far. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and make a clipping mask. So you can see right now, I'm going to grab my image kind of bring it down. It's much bigger than I want it to be. I want it, when I look at my sample, I don't want to have to see all that extra on the clipping on the board. So let's go to that disclosure triangle on the phone body. And let's go ahead and let's hide, let's hide the contents on phone body. And we're going to go ahead and use that as a mask. So let's go ahead on the lock icon on navigation layer and unlock it. I'm going to go ahead and knock that one down. Now what I want to do is make these two, I'm going to connect to these two. So I'm going to shift click phone content and navigation at the same time. I'm then going to go to my hamburger menu and then go to my Collect in new layer. And we're going to go ahead and call that new layer phone. And hit enter to accept that change. Now we're going to go ahead and go into our one called phone body. And you're going to see we have one called rectangle. So we're going to go ahead and grab those, one called rectangle, and move it up here into my one called phone. So it's gonna be right above, let's grab that one called rectangle and move it right above the one called phone because we want basically the clipping mask to be down below there. So let's go ahead now on the one that's marked phone. We've got multiple things within there. We're gonna come down here to the bottom of the layers panel. The third one over says make or release clipping mask. And it's going to go ahead and grab that clipping mask. So you'll see that right now I've got this other rectangle in phone body. I'm going to go ahead and take that and put it right up here in phone content. And so now it clips it to the rest of that phone as well. So basically for this one, you are practicing how to arrange layers, how to make things uh, easy to be seen. So you're not really producing an awful lot, but it is interesting to see how these things work together. So let's go ahead and do a file package. Let's go ahead and save it. It's going to say, where do you want to put it? Let's go ahead and make sure we're putting it in our lesson 10. So lesson 10. And select. Instead of folder, I'm going to put PKG. 
and package. Go ahead and show me the package. I'm going to go ahead in my lesson 10, do a right click and a send to compressed folder. I'm going to get that zipped folder and that's the one I'm going to go ahead and turn into Canvas for this one. So I hope you learned a few new things about layers.